<laughs> Wait, is this inappropriate? I'll miss me. <laughs> Hi guys, it is Wednesday and we're at the office. We're doing things. It's so busy. We have so many videos planned for you guys. It is crazy. There's a little peek at the board. Oop, oop. And a, oop. Oh yeah, what are you doing, Claire? I think this is our patch order sheet, but I'm testing something for... How much can I say? Oh, I think it's fine. Oh, Becky and Kelsey are going straight in Sarah again. So we're just making sure that everything works so when they get there, there's no problem. Right? Oh, yes, that's also what I was gonna do. Also, this week, cause yeah, we keep starting our vlogs late, I'm really sorry. Except for that one time we went to VidCon. But earlier this week, we got a package from Shambooty, who is a YouTuber. We've collabed with her back in the day. Oh my God, and she sent us a little package. Ooh, so cute. I feel like we usually get cookbooks. Ah, the domestic geeks. So it is very nice to have a non-cookbook. She sticky-eared some pages. She did. Oh, she sticky eared growth versus ego. And she also stickied <laughs> Beyonce, buddy, or financial sponsor. Oh my God, I love that. Is she trying to hint that we need help in certain areas? I feel like that's a hint. That is hilarious. Best of books of July. Dude, she's killing it. Yeah, in her video this morning, she was saying that like if you have this book, then you get like all this access to other things, which literally I'm excited for. I think that this book is just knowing yourself better, which is really cool. So. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. Slash, I might steal this first. Oh, oh yeah, she also sells these vibrator necklaces. What? Oh, these are the things included. Color chart, why it will improve your game. In chapter five, style expert Talia Mesido explains why everyone needs a color chart as the tones we wear. <gasps> Can we set the tone of our quality of interactions? Dating app insider shared that a bright solid color and profile pic garnered more attention. I believe that. Thumbnails, you can thumbnails. Look, so we can figure out what our colors are. We should do this all in the office. Okay. Claire, you're probably the yellow one. Wow, I hope so. And then also, if you want to see a vibrator, that's a necklace. I have a website for you. It's hope we don't get the vibrating necklace. Why will we improve your game? Why will this improve your game? <laughs> Build rapport. I don't understand the colors. Like, does it glow if you have it on around certain people? No, this doesn't have to do with the colors. Oh, that's okay. what it, you made it sound like. Yeah. Oh, was like, does this glow? Is it a glowing? Sorry. <laughs> scared me. Wait. Oh, okay. It just it startled me, okay, everybody? It approves off of the baby. It hasn't been used yet. I know, but it's Woo! Wow. <laughs> Wait, is this inappropriate? I'll miss me. It's a vibrator necklace. It's a vibrator necklace? Yeah. I'm shook. Are we on Arden's website? I don't, oh no, 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 it's not the website. It's like the, I don't know if we can show this. Oh, JK. Well, <laughs> oh my God, look how cute. Look at my man, what, or what do you call it? Man spread. Do you want to give a little background? Well, in oh. a previous vlog, you saw us go do a photo shoot with Adeline for Girls Supporting Girls merch. And these are the photos. Is like a mock up or something? Yeah, I think for like the website. It's pure blur. <laughs> but that's us. Look, mom, at me. Look, mom, I have a giant pink crayon. Oh, I love those colors, like the pink and yellow. We were mid-video, but we got excited. Uh, hi, guys. It's Wednesday, and can we talk about what happened to my fig tree? I'm so upset. Let me show you. So this whole branch that connects here, there was like, I don't even know, like eight, six, eight leaves on this whole branch, and they just like fell off. I picked them up already. Oh, hello, friend. I picked them up and threw them out, obviously, but they just... We're like, nah, we don't want to be a part of this tree anymore. And a couple other fell, others fell off. Like, there's some of these brown spots, which, like, is not good. It just kind of happened out of nowhere. But at the same time, down here by the bottom, like, this whole new branch is growing, and there's a new leaf coming in here. So, like, I don't know what to think. It's so weird. Like, it's so ugly that the leaves all fell off that one branch. Like, should I just chop it off? So weird. But then it's growing new growth on the bottom, so it's a happy 
or is it not? And you guys know how long I've had this tree, like since my old house. And I haven't changed anything about the schedule of it. <laughs> And then all of a sudden it's just like, nah, nah, we don't we don't like this situation anymore. Things are the worst, I swear. So I don't I don't even know. I feel like you can give me advice, but I feel like nobody's cracked the secrets to fig trees. Like why would after almost three years of owning it and doing nothing different, it's like <laughs> Psych! I hate the schedule now. Why, why would it do that? I'm so stressed, my poor fig tree. In other news, we added something new to our kitchen appliance collection. And, oh no, it has last night's panini on it. It's a little, like, grill press thing. It was like 20 bucks from Walmart. It's so little and essentially just grills anything. But I wouldn't use it to, like, grill anything raw. If you're gonna buy this, don't cook raw meat on it. I don't think that's a good idea because I don't know how hot it gets. But literally all I've been wanting to do is like grill paninis and sandwiches and wraps because as soon as they're grilled, they're so much better. It's my new obsession. So I think tonight for dinner, we're gonna do more grilled wrap because we had them last night and it was so good and I had them for lunch today. It was so good. Probably gonna get sick of them like real fast if it's all I'm cooking, but you know what? I'm not mad. A grilled veggie wrap is like fairly healthy and tastes amazing. So I'm gonna ride this train. Get yourself a grill press, you won't regret it. So this is a whole pan of different grilled veggies that are just cooking and then this is some quinoa and lentil. All right, we got red pepper hummus, some feta. The veg mix. And it's good to grill. I'm so excited. I'm um, high, yes, this is so good. Wait, can you even see it? Okay, it's really good, <laughs> trust me. And then this, the world's best Chipotle mayo. We've discussed this in other vlogs. It's like everything you need. This combo with this is fire, truly fire. Hey friends, happy Saturday morning. I am doing something that I meant to do forever ago and that is put the finishing touches on this entire deck that I had kind of been redoing with the help of Austin. You guys remember I put the screen up and then we are changing some things on the inside. Basically it's pretty much finished. There's just one or two things that I wanted to paint so the color scheme was right and then it just needs a tidy and then I can basically show you how it's looking currently. But today is when I'm doing those things I meant to do so I am painting the legs on one of the tables in there black because it just, I think it'll look great. And then we can throw that in there and yeah, that's mostly it. It's so hot today. I meant to tell you guys that DIYing is one of the best forms of exercises. I have realized if you want to get like 50 squats in without realizing you're doing 50 squats, like go paint a wall seriously. Every time I paint something, my legs are killing the next day. I'm only halfway done painting what I need to paint and already my thighs are burning from bending down and painting the whole time. So I think I'm getting my workout in. Hi guys, it's Saturday and today on the docket is visiting the Badlands which is um, these really cool like rock formations that have been up near where I grew up. And we used to come here a lot when I was a kid. Then they stopped allowing people to come and then they like redid it to make it so that it's like safe for people to come so they're not walking all over and ruining the environment. So this is the first time I've been here since they've done that. And now it's safe and good for everybody to come. Also, I really used to love it here as a kid because it looks like somewhere that the dinosaurs would roam. It looks like it's something straight from like, it looked like Arizona or something and just super prehistoric. So just imagine that dinosaurs roam this land. Clearly wore my best hiking shoes. So did Jenna for the red dusty rock. And I, oop. All the white is kind of like underground rivers. Oh, and there's vultures here. Also, I'll insert some photos of back in the day when we were allowed to frolic all over those. Were you even allowed or was it like not not allowed? I think back in the day it was like all fair game and it was like a playground. <laughs> okay, it's Saturday night and we have a bunch of friends over and one of our buddies just called into the radio station Boom 97.3 <laughs> I was like, can I introduce the next song? And he was like, sure, but you gotta get all your friends on board. 
So we recorded a little message introducing the next song on the radio and we're waiting for it to air. <laughs> yes, it was on Boom 97.3. I don't know if it's gonna play, but I'm Maybe excited either way. Sponsor you now. Not sponsored by Boom at all. Okay, <laughs> sponsor me. I'll do all your song intros. But if you want to sponsor us, we take any donations. So subscribe below, donations. You can send a check with the uh, blank. Fund me. You make us so blank. poor. <laughs> Free falling. Free falling on Boom 973. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Sunday afternoon and I'm finally gonna show you the completed patio setup arrangement that we've got going on here. You know, I've been working on it for a little bit. Um, and it's quite different than last year's arrangement, which if you don't remember how it looked last season, I can insert some video from how it turned out last season. I still absolutely love that setup so much. So if you're looking for patio inspo, like do take from that. But me, just being me, I like to switch things up and redesign things all the time. It's not that I didn't like that one at all. It's just that we wanted to change. So here we are. Okay, let me show you. So first things first, you guys know I put up this whole screen around the whole thing, which took me way too long, but now it's done and I am so happy with the end result. And then in the door, I put this magnetic screen because I didn't want to deal with an actual door because then I'd have to let Danny in and out. So this is great because it's a magnetic closure and you just kind of walk through it and then behind you, and then it just shuts on its own when you come through. Okay, so when you come in, if you guys, wow, the cicadas want some attention today. <laughs> okay, so last year we had an L-shaped couch go in this corner, but the whole couch has been repurposed to now be bar height because we put in a bar. So over here, this is just a little jalapeno plant we had from last year. It sadly hasn't been growing any peppers yet because I don't think we've been taking the best care of it. But hey, it's a cute little plant on our, uh, oh my God, railing. Anyways, <laughs> so this bar top, Austin actually built the live edge. He cut it and shellacked it himself. And then it's built from pallets from the old L-shaped couch. I put the front on this and lacquered it and put a little footstool here. And then we got these three bar stools actually off Kijiji which is great because they're really affordable plus like I think they look awesome with the black and the wood and then back here These are the same couch cushions the same couch basically But we raised it so that it was bar height so you can sit on a couch and be chilling at the bar Which I think is really really cool above it on the ceiling We still have the same string lights, but we added two of these individual little pendant lights We just got them from Michaels you kind of build them yourself You get the cord and you get the top and then we just had Edison bulbs that we put in and we strung them up there It's nice because as much as these string lights do a lot for light it's nice over top of the bar to have like direct lighting where you're sitting. Okay, over here, this is still the same mini fridge we had before, but this is really cool I want to show you guys. This is an actual neon sign with like tubes and the neon gas and everything. And I got this for Austin for his birthday. It was one of his birthday presents and it just plugs in. And I don't know what it is about the neon aspect. It just makes this place feel so much like a really cool bar at night because it glows blue and red. Love that. <laughs> I got it off eBay, by the way, if you guys are wondering. This. It's just a switch that controls all the lighting. So on, off, on, off. And this guy has his own switch. This is like Austin's grill setup. So we have the barbecue and then this is a charcoal grill that is on top of this table that Austin actually built himself. But if you remember yesterday, hello darkness, my old friend, <laughs> I painted the legs black because it just matches with this whole black and wood vibe like so much better. And then over here, we've just got another palmy because it just makes this place look so tropical and vibey and I love it. So I think that's it. I don't think I missed anything. I feel like it's just more spacious and the good thing about the reason why we wanted to do a bar is because when we had the L-shaped couch, it was so low to the ground. So if you were sitting on the couch, but you were talking to somebody, it's like you were looking up at them. But this way, like standing height is also kind of similar to sitting on the couch height and you could just like chill at the bar. You don't really need to sit if you don't want to. It's just more vibey overall. Um, sorry, I keep using that word, but that's how I describe this place. I love it. Like we've had so many really fun summer nights just chilling out here with the Edison bulbs and the string lights. It's It's been so good, so. I hope you guys liked this super mini tour. Again, if you wanna see last year's patio, there's a whole video on actually how I did everything that I will link in the cards and link below. Oh, if you're wondering that what that is, it's something that you plug in to start the charcoal barbecue. 
Okay, hopefully that answers your questions. Okay, while I have you guys here, I'm hiding in the back of the backyard because I don't want Austin to hear me. But tonight we are doing a secret date night. I actually bought us many, many, many months ago tickets to go see Queen. They are playing live in Toronto with Adam Lambert and I am like so excited. So I bought these tickets forever ago and I wanted to surprise Austin with them. He doesn't know. All he knows is that we're going downtown to do something and we're having dinner first and then we're doing something after. So I'm gonna tell him what it actually is at dinner. I hope he's as psyched as I am. I think he will be, but either way, like it's kind of a me gift too because I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be an awesome time. <sighs> okay, I will catch you guys when we are downtown.